specifically for an important message from the Millbank School District. Hello, this is Millbank School Superintendent Jim Graff calling with a weather-related announcement. Millbank Schools will close early today at 12.30 p.m. due to the winter storm weather. Again, Millbank Schools will close today at 12.30 p.m. Wednesday, April 10th due to the winter storm weather. Thank you. It's 12.34 in the afternoon. School just released at 12.30. We are right here. Thursday, April 11th. No, we're not. Wednesday the 10th. There won't be school on the 11th because Kevin, my older brother, just said they expect up to 35 inches north of Watertown. Well, guess who's north of Watertown? We are. Thank you, Period 4, for fish finishing out the day with a great work ethic. Going to check out some scenes outside now. Okay, there's Coach G. He just offered a ride home, but he's, that, that, that's one nice guy right there. Appreciate Coach G. Um, everybody headed out. There goes Mrs. Canole. She's scraping and stuff. She's all right. She loves it. She acts like she doesn't, but she loves it. There's Coach G right there. There's Mr. Townsend's house. Uh, I'm getting full snow here, but just another wintry day in April, I guess. Big snowstorm. Winter storm, Wesley Walker. Looks like we're a hot spot right now. City of Millbank closed. Today, no travel advised in Grant County. Get home safely, people. There is a lot of snow to come. This is just the beginning when I thought we were all done with it. 1.35. Snow still coming down. Expected on through tomorrow, it sounds like. Inches by an observer with thunder and lightning in Clark. 17 inches, 17.7, almost 18 inches of snow in Clark, 7.3 in Presho. Sisseton, over six inches of snow there. Uh, an 11-inch report in Castlewood. Ezra, Lilith, and Margaret. Where are Ezra? Ezra Where are you guys? Under the snow is going to be really, really heavy. In fact, one to two inch per hour snowfall rates with this. Uh, basically, what thunder snow is? It's a thunderstorm pounding down. Uh, really hot. As we go up further north, Clark to Redfield. Uh, these darker green bands. The snow is getting a lot heavier up there, and of course. We're dealing with a day, night, and uh, possibly even well into tomorrow. The good news is everything will end Friday. Saturday, Sunday, we'll have sunshine. It'll still be a little cold, but uh, by next week, back into the 50s. So the beauty of an April storm is that everything melts fast. That's true. Yeah. And uh, we are continuing our coverage this morning. We have crews. We have Travel USA also showing very bad conditions uh, with some of the roads um, across the state. Actually, no travel is advised. Pretty much anywhere across the state, all the all the uh, excuse me, all the roads you see in red means no travel advice. So I would just not go anywhere today. Of course, Interstate 29 north of Sioux Falls, the North Dakota border, and then again to the south of it, uh, still in pretty bad conditions. I-29 is closed from Sioux Falls all the way to North Dakota. Uh, here's a few DOT cams as well across Falls. the area. I would uh, guess that we'll see those interstate closures last well into tomorrow morning because conditions just are not going to improve uh, much between now and then. We could still get, uh, I would say, another 12 inches plus of snow in spots. The wind will gust 40 to 50 miles per hour uh, through today, gradually decreasing. Thunder. Lightning. It is about 1.40 in the afternoon on this Thursday, April 11th. Mr. Olson just said that there's about a 0% chance of having school tomorrow. Tough going plows have been out. Heavy snow. The winter of 2019, it's been a tough one. Very, very cold in late January. Other snowstorms, days off of school in 
January, February, March, April, all the months this year. Um, Ten full snow days and then a whole bunch of late starts and early releases. Pretty much closed today. Unity Square closed the full day. snow bank by door number two. Wow. Impressive. Don't even know if I can get into school this afternoon. Well, here we go again. The tennis courts were all cleared off. Well, not 100%, but pretty well. And that'll have to happen again. The days of looking west toward the baseball field out the lunchroom window are going to be coming to an end. This Cook School will be right there. Snow. Near five o'clock Thursday afternoon. Got a little trail. Tons of fat robins all over the place. On the road, they don't know where to go. And doing his thing. He's always up for a good wave, old Ken. Love that guy. Jim Byer. No school in Millbank on a Friday. It is 8.23 and it's like some sort of freezing rain here. This is my view. Um, no surprise on no school. Brad called it 0% chance and Day 140 will come on a Monday, four day Holy Week, Easter Week coming up. Yeah, no shoveling at Cook School till tomorrow. It's a no brainer not to have school, but. Mr. Frerick's out. 
blow in the snow. Friday morning, April the 12th, I believe. Friday the 12th. Busy birds. KSFY said we had 13 and a half inches land on us. Thirty two degrees. Move through and it looks like down the list here, Sioux Falls, not quite as much as some of our friends in Pierre at fifteen inches, but uh we still dealt, dealt with a little bit of snow across southeast South Dakota. Winter weather advisories are now issued and they go into effect through the early afternoon hours. Right now we're still seeing a little bit of snow here and there. Decision. Keep your money or take the big box. So that our frontline responders can reach more animals in trouble. They need our help. And we need you. Call the number below. Kevin said we probably got closer to 17 inches. He's traffic here about 10 before noon. On a Friday, 11th full snow day. That unity is open today after shutting down for a day, understandably. And the big snow pile next to the tennis courts has returned. degrees just in front of two o'clock Friday afternoon 
Going to be headed out to Sioux Falls pretty soon and then to Sioux City for the circus tomorrow. Christopher Cross concert tomorrow night. Spring play musical postponed tonight. Move to Tuesday night, Saturday and Tuesday night. It's about 3.35, headed out for Sioux City. After this major dumping, about 17 and a half inches of snow in the Millbank area. Roads are closed, just heard on the radio. There's various roads that won't open until two tomorrow on Saturday and it's still coming down. So Friday, April 12th, our second straight day of no school. 11th full snow day. Seat belt on. Here we go, just got good advice. Leave early before the roads start freezing up. We're at 33 degrees here as I head out the side of Millbank. The rich block said get to the interstate as soon as possible, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, a little sketchy here and there, but not horrible yet. Not in the hills yet. Got the Dave Ramsey going on up in the hills. Since the condo's small, not a smooth ride by, by any means. The condo is about the same amount. I'd say pay your house off first, but it's you know, it's one third the mortgage the plow. Is, so you could knock it off pretty quick. And then when that's paid off, of course, that helps the cash flow. And then we use all of that pointed at your house and get your house paid off. I, I think if you continue to make the kind of money you're making, so they are extending the deadline to April. South Shore. Dropping off Sandbank at Riverdale, Tomar, and Sherman Park. Mayor Paulton Haken wants to add two additional officers to the street crime unit targeting sex crimes in the city. Get more news at the Interstates have been pretty dry for the most part. South of Brookings here about eight miles. 634, probably right in the middle of Sioux City and Sioux Falls. No snow to be, well, some to be seen, but not much. Green grass, sun, whole different world. Sounds weird. 